Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 13 of my full platinum walkthrough for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Again, exactly where we left off at the end of the previous video. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to change the title of this video or not, but it's currently the placeholder title is Swimming, because that's essentially what we're going to be doing. This is a clean-up video. <sighs> yeah, we're going to be moving towards the end game after the in the next video. Uh, and we're going to be, right now, we're going to go do a lot of swimming and go and kill some headless. Um, yeah. First thing I'm doing here quickly is just going and getting that treasure carp scale that I missed like an idiot in the previous video. So you've probably already got it, but there's that guy. I'm just going to ignore him and run away. Uh, but yeah, we're going dealing with the headless. This is not 100% needed, the headless. They are horrible to fight, but the, um, the reward can be pretty decent. Basically, you won't need to bother with sugars anymore because... Uh, you'll be getting something called Spirit Falls, which you can use an infinite amount of times, and they just cost Spirit Emblems. So first of all, I'm going to go to Sunken Valley. Uh, I'm going to just get rid of this. I was going to just run in and get uh, and get out. This is going to be the first headless that we go to now. He has an item for an upgrade that we're going to go and do, uh, which helps with the other headless. But while I was here, uh, I thought I might as well just fight this one normally. Uh, but yeah, this other thing that we're going to get was an upgrade for one of our um, tools. I think it was in the previous video we got um, an item called Malcontent. We're basically using that upgrade uh, to upgrade the Malcontent. Uh, you, it will make sense once we get there. But yeah, we've been through here before. We're in the Sunken Valley. Uh, we're going backtracking a bit here. But now that we can swim, we can go underwater. Uh, which will lead us to new areas and new items. So down here, when you, when you do drop down here, there was a guy here you may remember last time. He's here again. Well, behind you, there's going to be a bunch of spirit-type soldiers. Uh, they're not, obviously, they're not real. So just ignore them. You can just run past them. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to swim. So R2, L2. So dive and uh, resurface. And uh, circle to dash. Dash. You always dash when swimming, honestly. Go all the way through this tunnel. And then up at the top. Now you've got an option here. You can either fight this guy now like I'm about to do. Or you can run in, grab the item, and then come back and fight him once we've upgraded the Malcontent. Now the problem with doing that is that he... Uh, the worst thing about fighting these guys is that they have um, a sort of cloud around them that makes you move slower. And it's horrendous. You can't dash and dodge and all that. So that's one of the main problems with these guys. So running in, getting the item, running out might not work out for you, honestly. Uh, but I've done a backup save. I've got the Divine Confetti is what you what you want. Mottled, uh, Purple Gourd, and some Pacifying Agent. I'm going to switch to the Whirlwind Slash because I just like it. Uh, take the pellet away. And then, uh, yes, we're going to run in and... Uh, yeah. So Divine Confetti and the Agent and have the Purple Gourd ready if you're going to go and fight them. You can't get a backstab on them, um, but you want to try and deflect their hits. This is the main thing. If you're good at deflecting, you're going to find these guys easy, quite honestly. But they have a really slow attack, as you can see. I can't really move, um, but what I'm trying to do is just <laughs> trying to parry and look for that window. What One of the worst things that they can do is actually, they actually teleport. You'll see him do it in a minute. It's when they start swinging this... Yeah, don't worry if you die. <laughs> uh, just use it to your advantage. Uh, re, you, know, you can resurrect and carry on. And uh, yeah, it's going to allow me to get that first one, and then I get the resurrection node back. So you're going to see him occasionally uh, swing the sword in a sort of circular mo motion around the body. That means they're in this one here. He's killed me again. <laughs> uh, it means they're going to appear behind you. Now this can be actually really good or really bad. Um, as soon as they do that swing and appear behind you, unlock. Obviously, it will naturally unlock from the, the camera will unlock and then try and turn around uh, They may do a red kanji type grab which is really hard to dodge um, Because obviously you can't move this is full movement here uh, Or they might just stand there if they just stand there you can get a few free hits in which is great uh, So yeah parrying is Essential I'm obviously I'm not very good at it. I'm doing it now and again here <laughs> more of a fluke at this point but we're going to be upgrading the malcontent there. We've sort of broke through. Once you do that, then you can get through and actually kill them. So this is why we're doing the backup save, because Divine Confetti, we're going to be using quite a lot of it here to kill these. But we'll get the Spirit Falls, which this is Gokan Spirit Fall. Essentially, it's like a, an item you can use over and over again. 
And uh, this is the lump of grave wax is what we came for. That's the item you want to grab and run out, uh, if you were wondering. Um, yeah, the Spirit Falls is it's the sugars being able to use an infinite amount of times, so you don't ever have to worry about buying sugar. So if you are somebody who uses a lot of it to up your attack and things like that, then uh, you can do it as much as you want now. Right, so I'm going to Homeward Idol away, and then I'm going to show you this upgrade and where you can get certain upgrade materials that you may or may not need, depending how far along you are on the upgrade tree. So come back here. Uh, and yeah, if you, you've got this one to do, obviously you're going to fight him again <laughs> if you didn't do that fight then. Uh, so what we need to do is get to Malcontent, which is here. But I do need to do the upgrades which are in front of it, which is this one for the Umbrella and this one for the Umbrella. The Umbrella, the actual the Lilac Umbrella, is actually good against uh, Deflecting Terror, but it uses Spirit Emblems. I don't know. If you want to use it and try it, then uh, then go for it, obviously. But yeah, we need some... Uh, I need money and some upgrade materials so i'm going to show you a couple of places where you can get the stuff that you may need if there is some a certain one that you do need along this path now it's not essential that you do this upgrade now i must say uh, if you think you can fight these by parrying then more than i mean if you did that one last one and you were fine then obviously go ahead and do it do the other two don't worry about having to do this upgrade now if it's going to be a lot of work with regards to farming for materials and stuff if you've taken another path up the the tree then it may be that may be the case. It's not essential, like you saw. I can, you can beat them without. There's only three of them. There's two in the water, three in land, uh, five in total. The ones on land are the difficult ones. The ones in the water are really easy. Uh, so yeah, I've come back to the antechamber in the uh, castle. I'm doing this run, run around here. You will get most, actually, quite a lot of the stuff you may need. So you're going to get scrap iron, which is the stuff I'm low on. Uh, I think you get Adam adamantite scrap from these guys as well. You get uh, divine confetti from them. So there's a lot you can actually get here from these. I got enough of what I need, uh, but I did do a few more runs. Uh, I've just missed that. I've cut that out there uh, to get my money up a bit because I do need about 3,100 to, um, to do the upgrades. Now I'm going to show you if you go to the watermill in uh, Ashina Depths, uh, there's going to be a big guy here with the bell. I'm just going to run here across the bridge, ignore all the old hags, hit this guy, try not to do that, uh, just hit him once and then jump off here and kill him with a, uh, a death blow. And he didn't drop it for me. It is quite a rare drop, but he drops both types of fat wax, the grave one and the lump of fat wax. I'm just going to go back. I did it a, f a couple of times, see if we get one to drop. It didn't. It's quite rare. But that is somebody you can get that from. Uh, if there is another thing that you're struggling to find, then do leave me a comment and I'll, I'll try and help you out with that. Tell you exactly where you can get it at this point in the game. So, I have what I need. I'm, I'm out of money here. I'm using all of my purses. Uh, yeah, I have 3,100 is what I need. And I'm going to get this upgrade. But it is handy to have. Plus, we need to do all the upgrades anyway. So, I'm going to do it now. So I need the Loaded Umbrella Magnet first, and then we have the Lilac, which does help against um, the stuff that they use. But I want to use Malcontent, so this is what we're after. And what it does is it's a whistle, and it stuns them three times in total. You can use it for each one, which is going to help you take care of them pretty considerably. You can see the difference uh, shortly. But yeah, we're going to go and do the other two now. If you didn't do the upgrade, that's absolutely fine. You can do these two without... Uh, like I did with the first one, it's just a little bit more difficult. This one just it just helps. So I'm going to go down to the Senpao Senpu uh, Temple to the Bell Demon's Temple, which we did unlock for this reason alone. Uh, this thing we'll use for farming uh, when we do proper farming because it does make the game more difficult. We don't want to be turning it on and leaving it on by accident. So watch out for that centipede guy. And then we're going to go through this secret door here. For the next headless fights. This one's going to be the Echo Spirit Fall. Uh, that's the one that allows more damage. The one that we got previously uh, helps with uh, posture damage. This is uh, damage you will be doing this time, so the red one. Right, I'm going to do another backup save because it just makes sense at this point. It's easy. If you can't, then sorry, but you shouldn't be using this guide if you can't anyway because 
we need them uh, for the endings we're going to be doing, unless you want to run through the game three times. Right, so Malcontent is what I want. Uh, the same setup as last time. He's below us, this one. I'm going to get rid of pellets so there's not too, too many things in the way. Pacifying Agent. Divine Confetti. And then have Malcontent ready. There's two ways you can use Malcon Malcontent. You can use it normally, or you can charge it, and it will just kind of sit there. You're going to see me do it in a moment. Here, I'll do it, I think. No, he's dodged behind me. So that was a good one because he's actually disappeared. So I charged this one. You can see that orange circle there. Uh, that means that the whistle's actually delayed and will happen there now. And it completely stuns them. And it does allow you to get a lot of hits in. And then we have broken him at that point and we get that first one. See the difference? <laughs> it was worth it. But again, if you didn't, it's still well doable without it. Especially if you're good at parrying unlike me. Uh, yeah, so... There's nothing to worry about with regards to falling off here, so just wait for the uh, the opportunity to use malcontent or for your window of uh, attack. Yeah, I've done the delayed one again, just because I find it so amusing, honestly. Uh, so you get two free ones, which are the ones, oh no, I'm out of confetti, that's not good. Like I've just got there, where it completely stuns them, and then the third time you do it, he's going to kind of break through the stun and do a massive slam from above his head. I think he actually kills me this time doing that, because uh, I always forget about it, honestly. So he's going to do it here. Yeah, he'll always do that third, that slam on the third one, and then he is actually still stunned. Uh, so you, as long as you can avoid or parry that, um, that slam that he does, you will still get that stun uh, window. That was not good timing to heal myself. Yeah, he's going to appear behind me. Is he going to do the grab? No grab. Yeah, the grab is horrible. It's, it really hurts. And there's the uh, the next one down. So that's Echo Spirit Fall now. They do have varying costs in in the amount of Spirit Emblems they cost. I think Echo's actually the cheapest at one. Uh, it, it it's basically like the candy. It it the candy the uh, sugar. It lasts exactly the same time. So what I did here is got completely lost. I, was, I know where I needed to go. I needed to jump up here. But I just could not get that grapple point from down there. So that's why you just saw that fade there. Uh, but we're doing a bit of a a shortcut here. Or oh, We're going to be opening up a shortcut that we'll never use. But it's, it's kind of cool to realise where we are. So we have been down there. I'm going to jump across here. And across and you may start to realize where we are that's the beginning of the game on the, the left there there's a couple of lizards up here obviously they're not going to be a problem and the Gaichin sugar so the Gaichin's uh, spirit fall is the one we're going to get next which is for stealth which if you are into whole stealth thing then uh, you can use that as many times as you like now, as long as you have spirit emblems, which is they're a lot easier to get than uh, than sugar. So we'll open this door up, and we are in the building where the first chained ogre was. You will get very familiar with these stairs because this is where the major farming place in the game is. Uh, once the world has changed, which will happen uh, in the next video, things are going to start changing. There we go. Could have used the whistle, but uh, or the homeward idol, should I say. But uh, yeah, it ties everything together. Get that satisfying Dark Souls ah moment. I know where I am. So next one is here. You know where he is. He was in the previous video. This is uh, the one in the trees. So again, I'm going to do a quick backup save. And then we'll go and take care of him. So do take care of the two chickens, otherwise they will follow you down. This one. And the one on the tree. Because if they do spot you, they will follow you. Oh, God, time for a chicken now. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, exactly the same deal as last time. Have the same setup. 
have your malcontent ready. He's directly below where I am now, so it's nice and easy set up. Yeah, unfortunately you can't get any uh, free death blows on these guys, which is a bit of a pain. But there we go. See, there I did a normal one. Uh, and that's why I don't particularly like to do the normal one. Because you saw that I kind of wasted it. Um, when I've, I have the one... I think he's about to do the grab now. Is he? No, I wasn't where I was lucky there. Uh, if you do the normal one, you do it from where you're stood and then they are instantly uh, stunned. If you have the, the one that's kind of floating around, you can get close to them as you think it's about to happen, if that makes sense. Gives you a little bit longer with it. Ooh, just got me there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit like a race. I'm a bit sloppy with these fights, honestly, just because I want to get them done. Yeah, here's the, th is this the third one. No, it's not. This is the second one. Yeah, so half a, half, roughly half a health bar for each usage there. That was not good. It's going to back me away down the corner now. Yeah, this is the third one, so he's going to do that, that slam. But if you know it's coming, you can try and parry it, and then he will be stunned for a little while longer. And then, uh, yeah, it's not much point using them again. There we go. Did we actually get a grab? We didn't get a grab out of any of the three of them. Or we may do yet. <laughs> Who knows? I'm sure we did. Getting stuck in a corner with these guys is horrible. But that's the whole point, because they want to trap you. You can't move quickly. And there we go. Gadjin's spirit fall. Okay. That's those three done. That's arguably the one of the more annoying bosses in the game are those ones. Uh, Lump of Fat Wax and Scrap Magnetite. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to teleport. I think I do teleport, yes, back to uh, the idol. And then we'll actually get onto the namesake of this video, which is swimming, which is actually only the last 10 minutes. Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of swimming because uh, we can now swim and in the places where we've been there is stuff under the water quite a lot of good stuff is under the water so i'm going to start roughly at the beginning of the game and work down the list so harata estate is actually not at the, is at the bottom of the list but it was the beginning of the game so i'm going to go back to this is the start of the harata estate I'm killing enemies as I see them because I'm low on money. Because I have been playing this for the videos, um, I haven't been killing as many enemies as I usually would just casually playing. So I'm quite low on money. So I do need to uh, start killing more as we go. Alright, jump in. So the, f the things with the fish is they will disappear, these carp. The first one is on the other side of these rocks. They spot you very easily. Uh, once they do spot you, just circle, 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 get close to them, as uh, get right up into them, and then just keep slashing and hope that you hit them. Because they will disappear, like a um, crystal lizard. But they do appear very quickly. That was pretty cool, like a dolphin. <laughs> um, yeah, don't buy anything from the guy in the jar, which is who we spend the, the scales with. We need them for particular things later on. Uh, and in New Game Plus as well. Uh, yeah, so just if they do, if you do, if it did disappear, just swim around the area a bit, and it'll reappear quite quickly. And then uh, just try again. Don't worry about uh, missing them; they don't disappear for good. Next one is still in Harata Estate. Go to the thicket slope, and then we're going to run. So yeah, I don't know why I was turning the camera there. Uh, yeah, jump up here. And then dive into the water. And this one, I think I basically jumped on this one. <laughs> so he's going to disappear. Yeah, that wasn't very good. So I'm just going to go upstream a bit. And then turn around, come back, and he'll, uh, he'll reappear. Uh, do have a look around when you're underwater. It's quite obvious when there are items about. Obviously the, the uh, bright yellow glow. Where is he? There he is. 
You think you'll be able to stealth, but you can't. As soon as you get in vision, even if they have their back turn, they know you're there and they're off. But uh, there's another one. So on to the next area. So yes, we will be changing the world, coming up to that decision uh, in the next video. We're re climbing Ashna Castle, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, you do have to do that, and it's a lot more difficult, but we can always just run because we know it and we don't need to find any items or anything. So that's what we're doing. New bosses in the castle and things like that. And then at the top there is a brand new boss and a decision. The split path of the game happens at the top. So this is the point in the next video, the end of the next video, is where we need to get in New Game Plus, unfortunately. Quite a long way through. So next we're going to go to Temple Grounds in the Senpu Temple. And we're just going to jump off into this lake down here. And two things in here. Uh, we've got the Holy Chapter Infested, which is needed for one of the endings. So that is the most important thing down here. It's right down at the bottom as you jump in. We do need to give that to the child, uh, not Kuro, the the one... I forget the name. The one <laughs> after the Folding Screen Monkeys. Uh, don't do that yet, though. But we do need to give her that. So grab the prayer bead down here as well. That means we can actually make another necklace. But yeah, there's two of those holy infested things. Uh, one of them will appear in a place we've actually been to, but only once we start the ending. So we'll make our way back up. A couple of wolves up here. Nothing some shurikens won't help with. And next, we are actually going back to Sunken Valley. Uh, Riven Cave is what you want. And this one has a lot of stuff in here. So turn it round. Uh, actually, before yeah, I, was, I did this because I knew I'd, I was going to forget. I even forgot that I did it then. Uh, make the necklace to just that little bit tougher. And then, yeah, there's a lot in here. Lots of carp. Three scales. And items as well. I do forget to get this item on the way out. That one there. It's one of the strong red sugars. Uh, Yashimariko or something. Yes. I think I might actually got that right. Something like that. <laughs> so there's no, there's treasure carp. Which are the shiny ones. Or the glowing ones. And they have regular carp as well. The regular carp do attack. So just get rid of them. They are above the items in this area. You can see them kind of hovering around. Just lock on and start swinging your sword around. Eventually you'll hit them. The damage they do is quite minimal, to be honest. Come on. Where are you? There you are. He's off again. So I'll just grab the items, waiting for him to come back. We've got the adamantite scrap there. Over here in the corner is more gadgets and sugar that, we're not, that we need that anymore. I think, it, yep, it appears right in front of me. That's handy. And then right in the middle here of this lake is a bulging coin purse, which does help quite a lot, actually, considering I'm quite low on money. And then the other one will be back now. And then you can swim through the arch on the left and grab the item that I missed. So there's, uh, that's two. Just one more carp scale to get, but this one is actually just sat at the bottom here, right at the entrance. Or where we came in, anyway. This river, uh, this bit of water, is where the big snake uh, tried to get us. But they are now gone. And then finally, we're going to head to Ashna Depths to the water mill. Again, big lake here. Plus this river. So first jump in the river and go upstream. There's another carp up here. The reason we're collecting these 
is it's basically currency for a very rare upgrade material uh, later on in the game the rarest upgrade material the reason we have to go quite deep into new game plus I'm trying to Make get my bearings. Where are we? There we are. Right, so look for the water wheel again. And then we're going to join the river. I'm trying to jump out here. I don't know why, because I just need to go down into the river. So follow the water. There's a lot of regular carp in here. So just kill them. And you'll see there's a very special red eyed carp. He's going to give you red carp eyes. Again, they are to do with the guys in the jar, as are the, the, the scales that we're getting, so grab those as well. And then, uh, yeah, just keep... Uh, there, you can see the amount of damage they do, it's it's not much. Where is he? There's quite a lot of these, uh, these vicious carp in here. Checking. I know there's there's a lot more of them. This always reminds me of uh, Bloodborne. This bit, fish there. Um, I've completely forgotten the area and the boss fight, but never mind. Right at the end of the DLC, uh, right in the corner here is going to be a chest, a very rare thing for us to actually get in this game. A chest uh, that's going to be another prayer bead. And then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much done at this point. Just making sure we are clear. There is a higher bit. Yeah, I, can see, I could hear something kept seeing me. And it's more carp over here. This is where they're all hiding. There's quite a lot of them over here. There shouldn't be any more of the, uh, the treasure carp, or there aren't any more. This is just pellets. We don't really need those, do we? We got them all? Okay. Right. Back to land. So we've basically gone full circle. Yeah, watch out for you. I don't want to get grabbed again. Uh, Mibu Balloon of Soul. Uh, obviously, you can use the Mibu Balloons when farming. Uh, don't feel like you need to hold on to them. And now we're going to go all the way back to where we started this. Uh, and go into the cave and grab the uh, the shelter stone. So back to where we fought the boss at the end of the last video. Go into here. Grab the stone. And that's going to set us up for the world changing changing events are going to start in the next video so we haven't it looks like we've not actually gone anywhere and that all we've done in this video is pick up the shelter stone and essentially story wise that's all we have done this was a clean up one getting prepared Just going to do a bit of maintenance when we get out of here. So we're ready for the next one. Don't need this anymore. For now. Put the pellets back. And yes, here's here are the, the spirit falls that we have. So strength, uh, defense and stealth is the way you could look at these three. Uh, two more to get, and uh, they will be in the next in the videos coming up. Actually, there might be one in the next video. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.